Mother, Earthbound Zero. One day, a boy named Nitin was attacked by a mysterious uh, poltergeist out of the blue. He soon learned that such inexplicable phenomena had been cropping up, up the world over. He set out on a lengthy journey to resolve these incidents. On his quest, he was able to source the phenomenon to an alien called Gigu. Additionally, he learned that one of his own relatives had played a part uh, in Gigu's upbringing. Nitin also collected pieces of a mysterious melody along the way. They formed a song that the Gigu's foster parent, Queen Mary, had often sung to him. In the final battle with Gigu, Ninten uh, sang the melody, uh, and Gigu, filled with anguish, fled far away. The earth appeared to have been safe. Mother 2 Earthbound A meteorite landed in the small town of Onet, where, where a boy named Ness lived. Investigating the meteorite, he discovered a bug from the future that called itself Buzz Buzz. In, it told Nessa in the future, an entity known as Gygus had brought the ruined world to ruin. Additionally, it revealed that there were four chosen children who, who would put a stop to Gygus. Ness set out on a journey immediately. He gathered power from eight sanctuaries to defeat Gygus and save the world. At the end of his journey, he came face to face with Gygus, now the very embodiment of evil. He had taken on an incomprehensible form. And it was not meant it was not the might of Ness's party that was able to defeat Gygus, it was Ness's bond with the people he had met that dealt the killing blow. And so Gygus was beaten. However, Porky, Porky, Ness's friend, turned second-hand man to uh, Gygus, fled with the message that he'd sneak off to another era and became uh, become a hero. And he never saw Ness again. Mother three, not officially released in English. So this is one, yeah, this is the one I, I heard. It was never officially released uh, in North America. In the small village of Tasmili, a Nor nowhere island, a youth named Lucas lived an ordinary life. But one day, a mysterious army took over the islands. Behind this, all this was Porky, who had traveled through time in Earthbound. He rebuilt the Nowhere Islands to his whim, treating them as if they were his playground. Meanwhile, a startling fact about the islands was revealed by way of its natives, the Mesigipsis? I think? Maggipsis? I don't know. There are seven needles on the island, and the one who pulls them all will command the dragon's unlimited power. Besides Porky and his unling, Laz Lucas was the only one who knew about the needles, so Scramble began to pull them all. The final battle where Porky's forces took place just in front of the final needle, and it was there that the unbelievable truth became evident. It was revealed that the masked man who had been pulling needles for Porky was Lucas's brother, Klaus, not under Porky's control. Through the life-risking efforts of Lucas and his family, Klaus was returned to his normal self, but only for his last moments. Lucas then pulled the final needle. No one knows for sure what happened next. And then, you know, we already know this is the... Uh, we did we did this shit before, told mother. Because Oak was much like the nowhere islands, that and they had no connection to anywhere else. Their world was held together by the capricorous whatever the fuck uh balance between humans and yokai. One day Reimu, Gesoka's grand supervisor, went out with her friend Marissa to kill some time. However, a mysterious meteorite then fell nearby. Yet it was not Buzz Buzz who came on this meteor a uh, meteor meteorite. It was one of Gygus' remaining underlings, which Porky now commanded. Porky and his allies tricked Reimu and sent her off to another world. In her absence, Porky rebuilt the already unstable Gensoki in the blink of an eye. Tensions between humans and yokai flared, but Reimu's specialty was beating up foes. She was little able to settle such matters. Ultimately, Porky abandoned his plans of wrestling control of Gensoki from Reimu and vanished to another world. And But in the end, only a tattered Gensoki remained, and it was, it was the old Gensoki no longer. There was something very different about it. Alright, pretty much just letting you catch up to everything. And then... Return of Toho Mother, or Toho Mother Plus. Six months have passed. What has become of Gensokyo? What has become of the future? The humans and the yokai sought. Welcome to the world of Toho Siko Roku. Okay. So are we on, to on Gensokyo? I think this was hell before all uh, back in the first playthrough. Yeah, it should, it should be. Uh, I, I don't know what that line is, but sure. One day, deep under the Ginsokyo at the Palace of Earth Spirits. Okay. And that should catch you up on everything that's been going on while you were gone. Okay, I got you, sis. Uh-huh. Uh, there anyone, anybody who doesn't already know is going to get that explanation. Uh, Oku? Unyu? Yeah, I was listening. Catch up and stuff. Must be hot, for, <laughs> must be hot dogs for dinner tonight. Yup. Are you in interested in anything that isn't really- isn't food? It must be nice having such an empty skull. Perhaps I should follow her example. Yo there, you look like a good girl. Give me some food. 
Speaking of dinner, sis, scratch hot dogs. Can we possibly serve hot cat and hot crow? <sighs> Enough noise. Regardless, it's been half a year since the most impactful incident. And you've been stored up in here pretty much the whole time, right? N no, not really. Maybe. Yo, Hikimo Hikikomori's is gonna hiki. And you've been eating pretty much the whole time, right? Say, huh? Forget you, I'm snoozing. Well, a lot's happened on the surface. They built the not really space elevator thingy next to the palace of Earth Spirits for one. Connecting the surface and the underground. Wonder what they think I wonder what the hey is that about? Okay. What what? When? When has the world truly been passing me by so fast? You didn't notice something built right next to your house? Yeah, I gotta give Koshi this one. Like Like I can understand not paying too much attention to the ups uh you know, to get soaky because you live in a different section, but when you have a fucking bridge built next to your house, that's like, how do you not notice that shit, man? Like, it's right by your house. God damn. Fuck. I, I, I've been busy, okay? Seriously, Swamp. I am not just a bored hikikomori, or whatever he said. Absolutely, positively nothing of that sort. Well, alright, Lady Satori, Lady Koishi, let me make a suggestion. What say the two of you go out to the surface every once in a while? Um, uh, no. Uh, aren't those lots of weird people out there? Or aren't there lots of weird people out there? Oh, quit worrying. I'll take care of things while you're away. <laughs> things. We gotta get you out and about sometimes, sis. And in other getting and in other getting out news, you gotta get out of the habit of calling strangers little sis. Right, of course. From time to time, together. From time to time, we'll go outside. I guess that's alright. Oh, she sounds relatively feisty. Well then, you two, be off post host. Haste, fuck. Woohoo, this is gonna be fun. Wait, are we actually playing? Okay, okay, I'll eat. Are we actually playing it though? Darkness and Gulf's target. Oh, wow. PK beam, a laser attack on all enemies, life up, inspect the enemy's abilities. Oh shit, we get to play them. We save. That's a very good question. Oh yeah, we have to fight one of those, probably one of, oh, Genji's still here. Well, I sort of figured I'd blend in with all these lost animals, don't I? And with the fish, the fleeting world is already ending. Woo! Border incorporated. Yeah, Lady Satori's going outside? So that's really what people think of me, huh? It says members only, but it's my house! Zombie dog, your Lady Satori keeps going out. Who's going to get us food? You must be Ames. Ams, I think? You must be Ams. Uh, sure, we are Ams, guys. We are officially called Ams. What is this? Energy charge completed. I guess it's our heal. This is the palace of Earth Spirits, the pound of the underground. Animals who have lost their way end up gathering here. Or as humans that once visited put it, this zoo stinks. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. what the fuck was that shit? You see this shit? Okay, that's fucking weird. They did not put boundaries on this? Apparently not. They forgot to do it. I just want to save just to be super safe. Nope. Let's see. Large pizzas are good. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with the I mean Oku on this one. Large pizzas are good. It depends on what the kind of topics you get. I prefer. I, mean, I haven't had pizza in a while, but the ones I usually like were like super deluxe, where the deluxe pizzas where you get like a lot of like the veggies, a lot of the meats, uh, like you know pepperoni sausage, and you have like your green peppers, your onions, your mushrooms. Ooh, I love those a lot. And in the past, I actually hated that shit too because uh, I, I I was like your standard pizza bitch, just just going with pepperoni. But I, I, you know my taste has changed, so I shouldn't even. I just, I try not to touch pepperoni because it's so 
basic. I try to get anything that's like different. You know what I mean? Like I try to get any, like like some buffalo chicken or some barbecue. So like, anything the pizza that's like different from what I had. Like as long as it's not pepperoni, it's not bad. It's just because you need, I've eaten pepperoni pizza for so long. I want something different with pizza. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the crew should be on your way out. I'll be waiting here, working working tirelessly and exp and expertly to make you mouth water and socket. I believe in you. I just realized Koichi is the main character, right? Not the main character, but you know, the leading character in this section. You know what I mean? Like, she's leading the front. And they also have the, the, the these guys, this thing too. You guess someone left this here a while ago, but you have no idea how to use it. Yeah, I think, uh, Okuza? No, who's that? Who's that? Yumime, I believe, made it? You know, like, the professor. Ah, uh, for fuck's sakes, not this shit again. I remember this. I did not forget this one. Chapter 1, Kinsokyo, The Aftermath. Okay, do I have to press anything? Okay, I do have to press. I wasn't too sure there. Okay, I can move down. First things first, I ask your forgiveness for putting myself, the author, in my own creation. <laughs> Why couldn't he do with, well, with his stupid insertion, you ask? Well, this time around, Lady Suiko's presence would not fit all the needs of the scenario. For example, there may be portions of the plot that take place outside of Gensoku. Thus, for those reasons, I've taken on this theme and most necessary duty of save pointery. I won't touch the main plot line with a 10 foot pole, so you can sleep easy on that. Well, I won't delay you. Woohoo! Allow me to see the progress of your adventures thus far. Alright, savior of the universe. Save every one of us. That's, a, that's pretty tough. Just, oh, yeah, one last thing. This game doesn't have any difficulty levels, but it's harder than normal from last game. Fuck! That's all, be careful. Oh, fuck, now you fucking tell me. pre me. okay. How much saves do we have? I actually wanna know. Do you have like 99? Okay, we can't go, oh, let's just go. Okay, 15 save files. Just so we know, just so we know. Yeah.